true story, my first real drawing of any note was of Michelangelo, the Ninja Turtle, inside Walk Chalk on the sidewalk right in front of my kindergarten. I have a long history of sidewalk chalk, but I don't actually have children myself, so I'm not particularly practiced with it now. That's another way of saying I was incredibly rusty, so I don't know if I, I thought I had this one in the bag. Yeah, it was pretty wild out there. You know, we had the sun beating down on us. We had a really international crowd of tourists that were pretty much waiting in line to go to the Statue of Liberty, looking at two fully grown adults playing with sidewalk chalk, probably wondering what the hell is going on in this country. Uh, but I like to think that we, we put really our, our best foot forward for, for the good old US of A. So my drawing consisted of things that I liked. I have a fascination with toilets, I have a fascination with aliens, and I have a fascination with random things floating through space. I still think about fun kind of in a kid's way, uh, going all the way back to playing with blocks. So that's why I decided to do hopscotch that was actually made out of blocks. At least in my lifetime. I'm just trying to be a realist here. I'm never going to go to space. So I like to pretend that I could go to space through my drawings. So first and foremost, uh, Keith's hopscotch was super interactive. I mean, you know, even passersby were just uh, drawn to just how much fun it was. And I think that really speaks volumes about just what he drew. Karen's uh, toilet rocket is obviously a very fun idea. I mean, who doesn't want to blast off through space on a toilet? That sounds amazing. But ultimately, I think the, you know, the, the people voted too by, by coming and interacting with, with Keith's hopscotch. No matter who won, you know, we all, we all won in a way. We got to go down to the park, hang out in the sun, have a little fun, then hop over and just grab a drink after. It's a pretty fun afternoon.